we're going to do in this one. Oh, Walter. Strong pale ale. Oh, yeah. Boom. Welcome to another exciting episode of... To meet the middleman. Today we've got another local legend just from Gold Coast down the road. This is from Baltar, their strong pale ale. Okay, so we have another one from Bolter Brewery. Bolter Brewery is in the Gold Coast, which is about an hour and a half away from where I am. These guys, um, their representative is Mick Fanning, which is a surfer. Um, and these guys do absolutely fantastic products. Their XPA is mwah, absolutely fabulous. Uh, this one here is their Strong Pale Ale. I have not had the Bolter Strong Pale Ale yet, but I am a very, very interested in doing so. So let's have a look and see what's on the can of this bad boy. Wrestle your thirst to the mat with this Strong Pale Ale. Its smooth malt profile drips with a juicy hot notes and a snappy bitterness that finishes with a firm hand. <laughs> Uh, flex your flavour muscles and crack open the door to a little bit more. <laughs> I like that. Alright, so, uh, just going by that, I don't know if I'm going to like the end of this. Uh, if they've chucked Simcoe hops into it, it might have too much of a piney kind of bitterness for me. Oh, well, there's only one way to find out. So this one is the Strong Pale Ale, and this one is a 5.9% ABV. So, <clears throat> let's give the Bolter a crack. <sighs> Smells just like what the uh, Green Beacon Indian Session Ale was, but just not as fruity on the nose. Okay, okay. What you got for me? Well, that's not uh, nowhere near bitter and intense as what I thought it could have been. Is there a bit of orange? There's something there that's uh, guava. <laughs> something, there's something there that I can't quite describe. But it's fruity. It doesn't. It says it's got a, a bit, a bit of, a bit of back on it that uh, smacks you around a bit. But um, I'm not getting that. I'm getting a very pleasant, slight bitter finish on this one. But then the uh, the fruity flavours still play there too on the finish. I'm liking this one. I'm liking this one. All right, let's glass it up. It's a bit of a deeper, oh, aromatic's nice, it's a bit of a deeper colour for that guy. Um, you know, not, not overly a amount, big amount of head there, but enough to know exactly what you're getting. It's not too clear. The colour's a bit browner, a bit more of roasted... Uh, uh, roasted greens or malts in that one for that colour. Yeah, okay. Well, <clears throat> off initial taste, uh, I'm liking this one. This one basically is just a little bit less fruity. Um, and, and stronger in ABV than their XPA. Um, so if you like the Bolter XPA... You'll like this one too. Hmm. Interesting, interesting little little note on that. There's not too much on the nose and the aromas. Let's see if I do this. Yeah, don't get too much on the aromas and the nose of that, but uh That's easy drinking. It's enjoyable. 
little bit more of a thicker mouthfeel than, um, let's say, a sessionable uh, 3.8% um, green beacon that I had. Better flavour. A lot better flavour. You got that, yeah, you got the bit of malt. Uh, sorry. You've got a little bit of malt there. You have your fruity flavours there. And it stays there. But without going too intense in anything. It just... Yeah. This is good. This is fantastic. Yes. Okay, so one of the big questions I always ask, or I always think about, maybe not don't do them in my videos as much as what I should do. Would I buy this again? And the answer on this one is 100%. 100% yes! <laughs> the irony on that one. I would buy this again in a snap. I would buy a mixed four pack or six pack of this and the XPA. That would be awesome. Love it. Oh, I'm loving that one. That is nice. All right. Ah, Volta, you've done a fantastic strong pale ale, guys. Uh, this one is easy drinking. It's got a better, thicker mouthfeel to it without being a thick beer. Um, the flavours are fantastic without going too intense anywhere. I was worried about when it said strong pale ale, and then it was talking about the bitterness that smacks you. Um, I was a bit worried about that, but you know what? It kind of goes exactly where I want it to go. Um, I'm not not a bitter fan or a um, <clears throat> pine note fan in uh, beer, but any of those factors that this has, it's a winner. It's exactly where I'd like it for those uh, those aspects. So yeah, all right, guys. Thanks for watching another mixed brew review, and don't forget, enjoy your beers. That's it. Go home. Well, thank you very much for watching another Mixed Brew Review. I hope you enjoy this one. Please give us a big thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Make sure you've hit that bell so you get notifications of when I put new videos up. Don't forget, guys. Enjoy your beers.